I just bought this 2003 Toyota Tundra a few days ago and doing a little bit of maintenance work on it. I gave it a bath today because it was pretty dirty. It hadn't been washed in a long time, just sitting outside. And I got a really good deal on these tires and wheels. They are 17 inch. It had a choice when it was new, 16 or 17. I guess these tires are just a little bit bigger, but we put one on, we held it up, I rolled it up next to it. It didn't look like there was gonna be a rub issue. And I don't seem to have a rub issue, so that's good. So that makes the truck look a, little, a lot better. Let me show you the old wheels. So those are the old wheels that came off of it. They're 16 inch. They're really dirty. They're just, they weren't looking good at all. The wheels are fine. I'll probably sand them down and paint them and use them for snow tires. I took the tires that were on there, still had quite a bit of tread left. I sold those for a hundred bucks, which basically paid for the mounting and balancing of the newer ones. But I like the looks a lot better of the 17s and the rims just are a heck of a lot better anyway i digress i decided to check the uh i gave it a bath it was really dirty underneath here so i pressure washed it it's still dirty it needs a, a better cleaning but i got a lot of the dust off i decided to check my oil filter i mean my air filter and the way to do that you have to take these clips off there's one there you just push it back on that there's one on the other side here, there's one down here, and this one is backwards or upside down. You actually have to, you push this little thing down and that releases the clip on the bottom. Then I lifted that up high enough, I got my air filter out. And from the top it looked really good, which you know, that's the clean side, that's what's going into your engine. I thought, well I'll just check it. So I pulled it out of there and I pounded it on the asphalt here. And that's some of the junk that came out of it. So there was a lot of dirt in it, dust. Then I took my leaf blower, which is there, and I held it right up against it on the back side, would be the top side, I guess. And I blew all the dust out of it and I continued smacking it on the asphalt to get more dust out. So it's pretty clean. I put it back in and put it all back together. I was gonna clean my mass airflow sensor, but I don't have any of the right stuff to do it. So I did take it out, look at it, it looks really clean. Um, you just wanna use mass airflow, mass airflow cleaner on it. Don't use brake cleaner or anything like that. While I'm here, I may go ahead and pop out a spark plug. He said he changed them once. He's owned this since 2006. Um, and he had the timing belt done at 175. It now has 200. So I am going to pop out a spark plug just to see what they look like. If they don't look too good, I'm going to go ahead and get some new spark plugs and throw in there. Uh, what else? My window washer fluid light is on. I started to add fluid, but it was full. So evidently it's the sensor, which I guess is down in behind here. I didn't feel like messing with it right now. I'll have to take the tire off, take out the plastic housing on the wheel well it's probably just a bad sensor and let's see what else was there uh, i had a check engine light he said he had it checked out and it was uh oh what did he tell me it was an oxygen sensor well i checked it with my tool today and it has two codes p0031 and p0051 so i'm going to check those out i cleared the code started the truck it didn't come right back so I'm going to do some research, see what it is. I may have to replace my oxygen sensors. Not sure. But these, I, I just sold one of these. It was a 2004 because I thought I was going to quit doing deliveries for Home Depot. I tried being a bus driver. That didn't work out. I just didn't care for it. I tried it for two months after I got my CDL. I said, no, thank you. So went back to Home Depot deliveries. Now this one has the view. V8 4.7 liter. They're supposed to be pretty much bulletproof engines, last a long time. And I don't doubt it. I've seen uh, videos where they have a million miles on them. Now I did upgrade my headlights. If you saw that, I really like them. 
The only thing I haven't done yet, you can see it on this headlight over here. See the wires down there? I have to wire those into the headlight harness so that this LED strip will light up. I, right now it's not hooked up. I didn't want to take the time yesterday to mess with it. I had things to do. So I just threw in the headlights. But it looks a heck of a lot better. I really like the looks. I was just going to upgrade it with... Uh, replacement headlights that look like the old ones and I thought well why, why not make it look like a newer truck I also took the battery terminals off even though it's a new battery cleaned them really good this one was loose I grabbed this wire and it just wiggled so I took this apart cleaned it took this off cleaned it took the negative terminal off cleaned it so you know you can get a lot of problems if you have a corroded battery or one that's not connected properly air conditioner works heater works um, other than the dash light for low fluid which I'll fix one of these days at least I know it's got fluid in it I'll drive a little bit and do some research see if those codes come back but it's missing a piece of trim right there plastic trim which I'm sure I can find easy enough and replace that. Uh, the truck is in really good shape for a, what is it, 21 years old. The tires and wheels make it look better. I've got to get a little tire shine, make those look better. But the box is in good shape. It came with the tonneau cover, which him and I put on. And that helps with my deliveries, keep stuff protected. And if I need, if I have to haul something bigger, I'll just fold it back up out of the way. The back of the box was just filthy, had a bunch of dirt in the corners. I pressure washed that out. Looks like I could have done a little better job there, but it's okay. Uh, what else? Oh, he pointed out this tail light is loose, as you can see right there. So I'm going to see if I'll have to take... Uh, uh, I see that bracket broke right there where this bolt goes in. So I'm going to take that bolt out and see... If I can super, or yeah, super glue, crazy glue this thing back together. Huh. Looks like it should have had another bolt right there and it's missing. So, we'll see if we can make that thing a little snugger before it falls out of there. Bumper looks nice. They replaced the handle. They got it on a little bit crooked. But it works. Bumper's in excellent shape. The one I just sold, this bumper was crinkled there. And then in a snowstorm, a guy couldn't quite get stopped. And he dinged me right there and bent that part of the bumper. So I got $1,800 from his insurance and uh, bought a new bumper. It was like 250 bucks, put it on myself. Um, as you can see, the rest of the truck is in pretty good shape. The seats... They're a little different. They have this fabric on top of the fabric. And it's worn a little bit right here. But the rest of the seats are in really good shape. And nobody... He said he's talked to several people. Nobody ever saw that. So I don't know if it was custom made. My other one didn't have that. The rest of the truck inside. It's in good shape. And then the back seats, of course. Nobody usually sits in those. There's the window washer fluid that I bought that I didn't need. You can see, I thought it was empty. So I started dumping that in there and it just went right to the top, so. And these seats, you can fold them up out of the way. I don't really care for the way they fold. You push this lever, let's see if I can do it. So, you can put something back there, but the seat's right in the way. It takes up quite a bit of the space, like 25% of the space you could use back here. I don't know what you could do different, but Spare jacks underneath there, or the jacks underneath there. That seat would fold up out of the way. I guess if you want to put something back here and not damage your seats, you could. Usually I just light stuff, I just throw it on top of there. For my deliveries, it's out of the weather. It's not bouncing around in the truck. Another problem I have with this, probably one of the only problems, really. If you're not familiar with these, oh yeah, this is the fuse box down here. And this is the cover. It's supposed to go in 
skinny part toward the top and then snap into place. Well, there's there's what you see. It doesn't stay in place. These clips are worn or something. So they had it in upside down, which holds it in place, but it just doesn't fit very good. Hood release. Um, what is this? Rear window defrost? I must... I don't even know. Oh, that's probably for the mirrors, maybe. Defrost, defrost for the mirrors. The other one, the 2004 I had, had a button here. And the back window slid up and down. That was pretty handy. This one has AM, FM, CD player. I've got this little gizmo I bought. It runs off of 88.7 FM. And then I can run my Pandora from my phone through the car stereo. And... That helps pass the time. Um, two wheel drive, four wheel drive options. Clock over there, I'll probably have to reset that now because I just unhooked the battery, so it's probably gonna be wrong. It's got your dome lights up there. Dome light there. Uh, what else can I show you? It does have a tilt steering wheel there. Power windows, locks, mirrors. Nice truck, pretty clean. I paid 7,500 bucks for it, which seems like around here was a decent deal. Uh, they're hard to find, under $10,000. Um, anyway, that's my Toyota Tundra. If you have one, you probably appreciate it. If you're thinking about getting one, I was actually, when I was gonna buy a pickup, was thinking about a Chevy or GMC or something. Because I didn't think I could afford a Toyota. But after doing a lot of research, I found out it's worth the extra money to spend because of the reliability. You're going to get three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 miles out of one of these or more to take care of it. I see they put a different skid plate on it. Maybe it went off-road a lot. This is the skid plate. Where did it go? That's the skid plate off of my 2004. Because I forgot to put it on after I changed the oil and then I sold the truck. This one, maybe it's a little more substantial. Oh, huh. Maybe they redesigned it for the next year. See, this one's different. Mine, my other one went through this whole, covered this whole area here. That sounds like metal there too. Well, anyway, that's about it on my 2003 Tundra. We did check the fog lights yesterday and they work. I might upgrade them or take them out and polish them up. The old headlights, I think I'm gonna polish those up as good as I can. See if I can sell them, get a little bit of my money back. But overall, it's a good truck, I like it. It rides really good. I will probably take these wheels and tires, go to Les Schwab or someplace, have them balance them for me. It has just a slight vibration, not much. I just mounted them the way I bought them. They were already balanced. You can see the weights there, but it would be nice if they were balanced with no weights on the outside. Do all of it on the inside, if possible, and I know it's possible. That way you don't have those ugly weights on your wheels, because it took quite a bit of weights to balance it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you're thinking about buying one, one of these, like I said, I highly recommend it. It's a good ride, and this is 21 years old and runs like a top.